So Britney Spears has been in a mental health treatment facility and recently there was a little bit of a protest called the Free Britney Movement or something like that because they believe that Britney Spears was being held against her will in a mental health facility. But in this video, what we're gonna discuss is there might be a little bit more that people aren't thinking about. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is pull different topics from pop culture or the YouTube community, things like that, to see what we can learn. And something I'm very passionate about is mental health and mental health treatment. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So full disclaimer, I am not a licensed therapist or psychologist or anything like that. I am somebody who has had my own personal experience with anxiety, depression, addiction, other psychological issues, and I've also worked at a mental health treatment facility that specialized in addiction for a little over three years, but we were a dual diagnosis facility, so we also help people with mental illnesses, all right? And that's gonna be important as we talk about these next subjects. So anyways, going back. So Britney Spears, um, she was doing a Las Vegas residency. I live here in Las Vegas, so there's signs and everything like that about Britney Spears. And back in uh, January, or a little bit around there, she entered into a mental health treatment facility. And uh, yeah, she's been in there, and her father is a conservator. We'll talk about that in just a minute. But anyways, just recently, there was a massive protest where tons and tons and tons of fans came together to talk about Free Britney because there's this little conspiracy going around that Britney Spears is being held against her will, all right? So anyways, like, like, uh, okay, let me just show you this clip real quick. We can't speak exactly to her mental health, but we can speak to what we've seen as fans and as the public and what she's able to do. And it's obvious that she shouldn't be under that amount of control. All right, hold on, can you repeat that again? We can't speak exactly to her mental health, but we can speak to what we've seen as fans. Okay. All right, so you guys, like, conspiracy theories are fun. Like when Shane Dawson was talking about Chuck E. Cheese pizza, it's like, hee 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 hee, that's kind of fun, all right? But like, here's the issue, here's the issue. So many people, and this is one of the reasons why I talk about it on my channel, like so many people do not understand mental health or mental health treatment, and it sucks. And something I try to do is just increase awareness so silly things like this do not happen. Like, people are out there protesting and talking about a conspiracy, and it's absolutely ridiculous. Okay, so let's go back to Britney Spears' father being a conservator, okay? So he is somebody who's making decisions for her. And there's been some talk and debate about whether or not legally he can check her into a mental health treatment facility and all that kind of stuff, okay? Now, like, let's just, let's just have a moment, let's sit down with our friend Logic real quick. Not the rapper, just Logic, like human Logic, okay? Damn, this is crazy. Like, Britney Spears had one of the most public mental breakdowns in modern history, okay? Like, everybody, everybody remembers that. Is it possible, is it possible, I'm just gonna throw this out there for a second. Is it possible that Britney Spears signed her, her like ability to make these like decisions over to her father during that period of time because she acknowledged that she is not mentally well. Is that a possibility? Like if I was a betting man, which sometimes I am, I would bet that that's what happened, okay? So, so yeah, like something that I read this morning and the source was TMZ, I don't know how reliable they are, but anyways, they said that she was originally checked in because her father's um, health was affecting uh, Britney Spears' mental health, right? But TMZ reported that one of the things was was that she stopped taking her medications. And uh, Philip DeFranco talked about that today too. And one of the things is a side effect of many mental health medications is very dangerous, okay? For, for many mental health medications, like one of the side effects, if you get off of them without like a doctor helping you get off of them, you can become suicidal, okay? Terrible things can happen. And some people can have seizures, some people um, can have heart issues, you know, sometimes there's withdrawal, okay? And here's the thing, like I don't know Britney Spears, I don't know what she was going through, I don't know what uh, medication she was on, but here's the thing. Working in the mental health uh, facility, like that, where, like the addiction treatment center, like, 
I used to have to talk to clients all the time about medications and why not to stop them. I'm not a doctor, but I'm somebody who's played that game before, okay? I take Lexapro for anxiety and depression. It's a non-narcotic medication that helps me out. And there were a few times in my early sobriety where I just stopped taking them. I'm like, oh, I'm feeling better. I stopped taking them and I would lose my mind. I would lose my mind because I just, stop taking them cold turkey and the panic attacks will just come right back. And I'm one of the fortunate ones. For many people, especially in addiction recovery who quit taking their medications, they relapse. They relapse, okay? So I would have to talk to people. I'm like, listen, you might not have to be on your medications forever. Like I have personally weaned off my medications many times. Like after I learned my harsh lesson, I've done it with a doctor and I've been off my medications uh, for periods of time around like six months to a year. I've been back on them for like the last year or so, you know, but it's been with a doctor and like, that's cool. But I've seen so many people come back into treatment because they got off their medications. So let's, let's go back to logic real quick and think, do you think that Britney Spears' father may have made the right choice by getting her help because she got off her medications. One of the biggest things that I've seen from a lot of people who got off their medications is this. They say, I stopped taking my medications because I felt better. Well, guess what? Here's the secret, okay? You felt better because the medications were working, okay? This is why you talk with a doctor and you talk about your symptoms and they take you off slowly and you follow up with the doctor. You talk about, is anything arising? Is anything coming up? Like I had to have like a whole plan in place as I came off of my medications. I did some videos about this um, a while back the last time I went off Lexapro and then I like went back on it and everything but like I had to set things in place so it can be very very dangerous to do this okay the next thing the next thing that I think a lot of people are neglecting is that Britney Spears has been in the public spotlight since she was a child like we're talking like Mickey Mouse Club type stuff, okay? Like, I don't know how old you are watching this video, but do you remember the Mickey Mouse Club? That thing was ages ago. Like, she was on there with, like, Justin Timberlake, all right? They were children. They've been in the public spotlight since they were kids. And I don't know if you've heard, but a lot of kids who grew up in that industry, they develop issues when they get older. So there's a high chance that Britney Spears might be dealing with these issues because she has constantly been in the public spotlight, all right? And maybe a mental health treatment center is the best thing for her. And here's the thing, like, so many people, and like, this is why this um, whole protest thing bugs me, so many people, like, don't get it. They just don't get it. Like, when it comes to, like, wellness checks or checking somebody into a mental health treatment center when they might not, um, you know, be safe around themselves or others, like, these people are like, I don't think they wanna be there. Like, you guys, guess what? A lot of people don't wanna be there. But you gotta remember, mental illness, not in the right state of mind. Like, this is one of the reasons why, you know, the severely mentally ill need people to make decisions for them. Now, a lot of us struggle with mental health issues on a less severe basis. You know, we struggle with anxiety or depression or anything like that, but we're not a danger to ourselves or other people. You know what I'm saying? But other people, you know, when they become, you know, I don't know what Britney Spears was going through, but other people who are like suicidal or other things like that, like, yeah, there's a reason why they have 72 hour holds. So it's like, it's, it's crazy to me because this has come up so much. I've seen it pop up everywhere where they're like, well, that person, I know they were suicidal, but they didn't want to go to a mental health treatment center. It's like, well, no crap. Like I'm somebody who's worked with addicts and alcoholics and people who are, you know, suicidal or dealing with like all sorts of other issues and they don't want to go to rehab. Well, well, too bad. Like that's just what people like us have to do, right? Or they don't want to go into a sober living or they don't, whatever it is. It's not, a, when it comes to our mental health, it's not about what we want to do, it's what we need to do, all right? The last thing I'll talk about, which is where I get torn with what I do with my channel and the content, but like, like the video that you see behind me, like this is like the Hollywood reporter who's using clips of like paparazzi who were like all up in Britney Spears' face when she left the mental health uh, treatment facility and she was like out, right? I think she's still checked in, but she might've just had a pass. But like, like just think about that for a second. Like living a life where you're trying to like work on yourself and work on your mental health and you're going through these issues and the paparazzi is waiting there for you so they can write a story about this. You know what I mean? And that's where I get torn. And one of the only reasons that I'm making this video is to help educate 
more people out there about mental health treatment who are out there holding signs of free Britney even though they have no clue what her or her family is going through. So it's like this whole difficult situation. But the other thing is, is that I'm the problem, you're the problem. Like the paparazzi wouldn't be out there taking pictures if we weren't watching this, if we weren't paying attention to this. And it's just like, this gets into a whole philosophical discussion about like, what do we do? What do we do? Because we're drawn to this stuff and we want to know this stuff. Like Britney Spears' like diehard fans are watching for every update about this situation. So no wonder why the news is all over it. But could you imagine if they were releasing articles like this or releasing videos like this? Like this video behind me has over 15,000 views in the last day. What if nobody watched it? Do you think they'd keep making videos about it? Probably not. You know what I mean? And then, like I said, I get torn because I feel like, you know, I have this responsibility of working in the mental health treatment realm where I have to come in here and explain some stuff. So now I'm adding to it too. And it's just this kind of weird cycle, you know? But I will say this, as an optimist, like who's trying to increase awareness, I'm glad that, you know, at least we get to talk about it and hopefully somebody out there got educated a little bit about this stuff, all right? But anyways, anyways, let me know your thoughts on this stuff down below. Like, what are your thoughts on people being put in treatment even though they don't want to be there but they need to be there? Let's have a discussion down below, all right? But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to become a patron, Click or tap right there, all right? Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.